let's say, right, we have this group, um, did a ritual. So I think you can really, um, in, how to say, in a way, uh, engage to that energy. And so do you have messages for, for our group? A lot of them are what you would define as entering into their own phase of spirituality. Yeah. And it's very nice to see them engage more and more. Mm. And I encourage everyone to be true to themselves, to really do what feels right for them. And what I mean by that mm. is when you really listen to what resonates. I, I, can you be a little bit more specific? It specifically, would you like to mm. know about? Mm -hmm. So every one uh, of this group is on their path as the um, spiritual teacher, Jesus, what do you can say um, to this group? Like knowing authenticity, I think when it comes to being who you truly are, they can expand more in that aspect. You are saying is to be ourselves. The people there, I'm um, tuning to their energy and that's yeah. what I feel. Yeah, can you say one more time? When I tune into their collective energy, what I feel is that they're putting on their own shoes at the moment, trying to find their own pair of shoes, trying to fit into them, yeah. in a sense, trying to be who they are. Mm -hmm. But they just have to look at themselves with honesty. It's not what they see in the mirror, but what they feel that they resonate with on a sub level. So to be our authentic self is important. It's always important. It doesn't matter that self is something we right, prefer or sometimes people just want yes. to be perfect. But it's and accept that part of them. At that moment, it's mm -hmm. what resonates with them the most. There's no such thing as mistakes. It's just part of the journey. So it's important to we are being ourselves, so then we can do things uh, from that point. To be fully honest with yourself, yes. And there's no right or wrong, there's no good and bad. Good and bad, it's all part of the journey. We all see a destination in our brain, but we cannot see who we truly are. If the, the destination is all we see, because where we are on that journey is more important mm -hmm. than the final destination. What do you, any messages to this center? No. Energy is strong there? It's collectively holding its own peace. And there's a reason that we, um, how do you say, met? with each other at that place? Sure. It's meant to be because everything is a reflection of you. Mm. All right, thank you for your messages and I'll speak with you soon. The energy to be able to channel through this body so I can ask some questions uh, regarding our group. Mm. Yes. Yes, so yeah. can you identify yourself? You're the energy. I'm the like, energy, I don't have an identification that's uh -huh. not of importance mm -hmm. at all. Do you have, um, yeah, that's, um, that's yeah. perfect. Do you have any messages for the, the group? You need to be more specific if you want to ask for something. Mm -hmm. You need to set an intention. I cannot just give an energy out of no. What do you can say to us? I can take a deeper look into what happened. Please do so. Give me a point in time. So let's say this. I'm not for sure, maybe third, uh, 12. The night was kind of chaotic. And there are a lot of crying and screaming. So what kind of energy do you sense? A muted purging. Mm -hmm. The screaming that is coming out is not their soul, it's their yeah. facade that is screaming. Mm -hmm. Can you be more specific? It's not their soul that's screaming and crying. Yeah. The facade. It's who they think they are huh? that is screaming and crying. Yeah. And it's in pain, of course it is, because it is the pain body. And that in, in that moment is, in a way, in a sense, being transformed. So why did this uh, facade needs to scream? Because it's being transformed. So it's uh, kind of uh, uncomfortable. Of course, the energy is very rapid, very chaos. Okay, so I like to ask then, I think it's the first, no, the second ceremony. So that day, I was in a it's very hard to describe, a very kind of negative um, uh, environment where I was surrounded by um, heavy energies. 
so what, what, what was going on? I couldn't really explain. I couldn't do much. I was very restricted. Those are the current energies that you perceive that are blocking you in your day-to-day -day life. Say one more time. They are just manifested and put in front of your face. Uh huh. How would you like to deal with that? To break through. How would you break through? We made it aware for you uh -huh. to understand that there's something encaging you. Mm, yes. Um, so how? It's an energetic force, it's not an entity. Right. And the energetic force only reflects back to you, your own beliefs, your own thoughts. It's mm -hmm. aware of you. Okay. So how to deal with that or break through? Use compassion. I don't have an answer for you. Oh, okay. You should seek your own answer. Your own answer is once you think of it, once you have it, it will be gone. Because that is the whole point of it. So uh, that day, my answer was um, give everyone my pure heart. Let go. Take a deep breath and just mm. let be without any insistence, without any thoughts. <laughs> just release it. So that's the Don't judge. Don't, don't judge. People. Don't judge. Myself. When you judge others, you're judging yourself. Mm. So who are you really judging when you judge other people? And sometimes we are not even aware that we're judging. Maybe that's what the force is, is to bring the unaware, aware, mm. into your field. Mm. The negative force wasn't yeah. an entity that wanted to attack you, it wasn't because of other people. Right. I understand that. But it's from me. Yes, mm. in a sense. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, just apologizing. <laughs> um, but it's not about that. It's how to deal with judgments. Mm. When you judge others, you judge yourself. Do we judge ourselves sometimes? And that's also judging others? When you, what you judge in others is what you also judge in yourself. Mm -hmm. But what if you let go of the judgment and just let everyone be who they are? Mm -hmm. Imperfect. Let, allow yourself to be who you are. Mm -hmm. As you are now. There's no imperfect or perfect. Mm -hmm. There's no way you should be. You are as you are and you are loved. Mm -hmm. In every moment, regardless of how who you are how you perceive yourself to be. So if someone from the group is asking um, what he can do to uh, fully express himself. Allow his thoughts to come through. Voice his thoughts. Practice voicing his thoughts. Yeah, say one more time. To practice voicing all his thoughts. Say it. Allow it to come out. I see. Scream if he has to. He doesn't have to express it in a way that's considered normal. It's how he wants to express it. It might just come out of the form of sounds like, ah. Mm. But just let it out mm. and practice doing so. Mm. I see. So let's say someone who, um, who's a um, you know, loved one um, passed away and the person is, um, cannot really live you know, her life uh, without thinking about that. Well, what is it reflecting back to her? What is this person actually reflecting back to her? What is it? When she finds her answer, she will be able to let it go. What is it that is being reflected back to, to her that she is projecting onto this person? Mm. All her. What else? Uh, one more time. So, what do you say about the energy of the group? Bag. Huge mix of different people, different energies. But that's the way it's supposed to be. Sure, maybe that's why they always get into these so-called arguments. People holding on to their own energy identity where it's hard for them to understand other people. Mm. But the cere ceremony of uh, ayahuasca is supposed to be people doing a circle in a group. So... It's, it won't always be that when people are finished with their ceremony that they will automatically connect with each other. It's not meant to be a time of peace, it's meant to reflect the chaos that mm. is within and for people to realize that. Mm. So in a sense, if people are expressing themselves, it's good. Healing doesn't always mean that you sit in a circle and you tell each other how much you love each other. Mm -hmm. I see. Right. It can be messy, it can be chaotic, and that's just all part of the process. Yes. And thank you for all your information, and thank you for channeling.